Okay, this is the second video uh, for week one notes for Ed 707. Um, let's recap the question being asked is why some teachers choose to make decisions that facilitate technology integration, why others do not. Uh, yesterday, when I did the first video, I took a bunch of notes that mainly focused on what exactly is technology integration. Um, while doing that, I also came across just learning what exactly it is, how it's defined, used, and so on and so forth. Uh, different strategies of how it can be used, especially uh, here uh, if there's a lack of support, whether it be financial or professional development, what it may be. Um, different things that can be done. So I was actually able to put together uh, some benefits and drawbacks and now as I continue my notes I'm going to sort out let's do why some teachers I want to look up the exact wording on this choose to make decisions that integrate technology and why some teachers choose not to integrate technology So, uh, let's see what I have to start. Um, actually I actually think it's a little bit easier to talk about why some do not. Um, reasons why they do not, money. Uh, something I thought of, it was something I confirmed on some of the various websites, money's an issue. Um, professional development support. And time. Professional development support. Uh, in order for this to be successful, the teachers actually have to know how to use the technology very well. Uh, in order for it to be done extremely efficiently, the teachers themselves need to uh, it needs to become second nature to them. Time. Uh, it takes time to transfer or convert a class from a class that uses a lot of technology or I'm sorry from a class that does not use a lot of technology integration to a class that does. Um, some time issues that I thought of myself uh, it's easier being a younger teacher such as myself for a few reasons. One is I grew up kind of blended in a tech era so technology just come natural to me. Um, two is I don't have very many other obligations in life such as um, family life or some teachers do <coughs> so uh, I do have more spare time which I can learn the technology um, whereas other teachers do not to expand on that, that kind of ties back into uh, the younger teachers not only do they have more time but they're also more um, skilled with technology so they're going to learn it faster so not only do they have more time to spare they actually don't need as much time so some of the uh, more seasoned teachers that have been around for a while it is very difficult to uh, learn this material due to a time commitment. So while I'm on the topic why some teachers choose not to, I'm going to start with that then I'll come back to why some do. Um, why do teachers choose not to use technology Integration. We don't even even have a hot hit. Let's see. So, let's 
let's take a look at this first hit. And it should be known this is out of Taiwan, so I'm a little questionable about this first hit at first. Uh, I don't know its relevance to American schools, but let's see. broken into three categories. Let's see. I want to take a look at other conflicting benefits. Here we go. One of the conflicting beliefs is that uh, teachers expressed that they were already under a lot of pressure to cover all the content. Okay, before I continue reading, a uh, few things to note. For example, with a physics teacher um, afraid to, to cover all content, um, believed that if he did fail in this manner could result in very actions Example with an English teacher, and it should be noted, teaching English in Taiwan. So we're not talking English as in grammar and literature uh, like we have here in the United States. This is talking about teaching a foreign language. This would relate more to a foreign language um, for us. So, <coughs> afraid of low test scores if not enough material was covered. This person believed it was more important to cover as much material as possible.
argument was many teachers believe that student mindset is uh, being forced to study by their teachers. Um, some believe that frequent testing was important. Some believe that lack of testing resulted in lack of performance. example for a math teacher. Teacher believed that the old methods were the best methods. Um, believed that students could not read their own learning. Okay, um, this last paragraph here talks about issues with students and tech. So, talks about difficulty making students stay on task. Internet is easy, is an easy distraction. If computer breaks down, progress will halt. Um, these issues disrupt classroom order better to stick with what works <coughs> okay let's see if we can go on and find anything else some of the other main issues So, we took a look at conflicting beliefs, other conflicting beliefs. Influence of external factors. Let's see what's in there. Influence of external factors. Here we go. Okay. External factors. Uh, lack of technology tools, lack of time to plan instruction, lack of 
administrative support, which is something that we've seen earlier. Okay. Let's take a look at the last one, which was understanding uh, proper limiter and proper theoretical understanding. of guidelines teachers interpreted how best to do this on their own okay I'm gonna check to see if I can find another source This again is citing something we've seen before, lack of tech. Lack of teacher understanding. Okay. Here we go. Um, this is from a new website. Simply put, uh, this was in 2005. Uh, the primary issue, it has primary issues. Um, <coughs> there were constraints in organizational, administrative, pe uh, pedagogical, and personal um, constraints with technology integration. They used the technology, but they did not integrate it as talked about yesterday, uh, the idea of technology integration, um, this here, it's not just tech used by the teacher, but it's both by the teacher and students. So they sort of used it themselves, but not the students themselves. Uh, without much time left, I'm going to go ahead and, whoops. One, copy this link because I forgot to. Um, and then two, I'm going to switch on over. Uh, why some teachers choose to make decisions to integrate technology. So we'll go 
why integrate technology and education. Uh, before I do this, I already found a lot of benefits yesterday. And I've talked about the cons, talked about the benefits. <coughs> uh, it's easy access to information. And uh, the money is kind of a double-edged sword because it is possible that it can actually save the school money uh, depending on student mobile devices and also to uh, buying licenses instead of actual hard copies of books, if that can make any difference. Uh, students do get to take con more control of their own learning. Uh, other things I add myself is it puts students in a situation where they're learning in the modern era. They're in their era. Um, they're much more comfortable and familiar with it. Uh, so those are some of the benefits just off the top of my head and just some that I found from the research yesterday. Okay. Um, so why integrate technology in the classroom? I looked at Edtopia, so I'm going to try and find a different one. Slide share that. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay, do we have an author for this? Alright, I do. So it starts off, some states have required it. That's a good reason to do it. Do it or you may lose your job. Um, research supports or is the idea that it helps students learn. Reasons. Increase student motivation. Uh, improve communication. Facilitate high order thinking. Build valuable skills of using college. Expand students' understanding from novice to mastery. So, <coughs> again, benefits. Um, the idea of this uh, belief or research is that increased motivation, improve communication skills, uh, not communication skills, communication of learning goals. Uh, promotes higher order thinking, <coughs> build skills useful in college and work, and just in general improve student skills. Okay, how does it change the way students learn? Okay, so this first paragraph says the idea of acquiring new knowledge from old knowledge. Students today do not necessarily follow the idea of learn new things from old things. They learn in a technological way. Um, difference in preferences of how material is presented. Um. Other benefits, more opportunity for creativity, for lessons or in lessons.
students can create multimedia projects. Benefits of this is uh, give students more control over their project, allows for a better chance to express their understanding in a unique way. Okay, so here <coughs> um, traditional lesson guide lines still need to be followed. So things like you need to have an objective. Uh, students need to understand how they're going to be assessed on the material. Um, rubrics if needed. Uh, so that part of the uh, old method, if you will, is still alive and well in there. Um, also, <coughs> an important note, and I guess uh, we should maybe put it, well, I want to put it in here, this is where my topic is, um, be prepared for backup lesson in case of tech failure. Well, some misspelling. Alrighty. Let's see if we can find another one. College website. University of Illinois. Uh nineteen ninety six. Texas A&M. Uh, okay. One of the things is using technology for um, formative assessment can produce much more rapid feedback. And feedback is very important. The faster feedback reaches a student, in my opinion, uh, the better it is for the students. The student will benefit greatly from quick feedback. Okay, now that starts to talk about um, I think the university itself. So I'm gonna back out of this one. Oh I need this.
positive or negative? <coughs> this is still, in my opinion, a very good uh, quote. Um, that kind of reflects back on what I said a lot, where some of the uh, teachers have been around for much longer. They're new to this. The teachers who've been teaching for three or four years, they grew up um, kind of in a hybrid world where, you know, myself, for example, 1990s was not tech crazy. I mean, computers could uh, type a document, and that was about the extent of it. Um, I didn't even have access to the Internet until probably about... 1997, uh, and it was dial-up then, um, so, then, of course, in 2000s, uh, things really started booming, so technology became much, 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 much more prominent, um, but the idea that students are native to this, and most of the teachers are, in a sense, an immigrant to this, um, uh, but this talks more about as I keep uh, reading through, it seems more of an article of them doing it, not necessarily why. Let's try a different search. Benefits of integrating technology in the classroom. Let's try Let's try this one This is a student's paper. Is there a copyright date on this? No date on this. So I don't like that. This just seems more of how to do it. Less about the benefits. Okay, we'll go back to Edutopia. Um, why not? So a lot of this, um, it starts off by saying that uh, t 
teachers who recognize tech as a as problem solving tools change the way we teach also goes on to say that this method prepares students for the 21st century way of life better than the old method um, <coughs> teaches students when and how to use technology um, promotes cross-cultural understanding um, a lot of other things we've seen before so far let's try this there are many reasons well let's see what they are Okay, this is a good one right here. <coughs> Technology uh, changes the way teachers teach. Let's go. Diversifying instruction. claim is integrating technology helps make learning more meaningful meaningful and fun I am coming up on a five minute warning here Try and see if I can find one more. Uh, there's no author on this. This opens up with saying uh, what I've talked about quite a bit of times. Whoops. Um, integrating the technology in the classroom can be the wor seem like the worst nightmare for some teachers. Um, <coughs> now, on the other hand, kind of advising that there's a lot of benefits. So, okay, again, really hits on differentiated instruction promotes new sites 
promotes differentiated instruction. Uh, again, <coughs> you know, differentiated instruction, you can provide a variety of accommodations for students as needed. Um, and, you know, to reemphasize again, this paragraph right here talks about, once again, uh, gives students more ownership of their learning they can learn at their own pace they can um, learn by their personal preferences more easily okay <clears throat> I think I got quite a bit of information here Got information about what it is, uh, some quick benefits and drawbacks, uh, ways to overcome some of these drawbacks, uh, my own personal thoughts before I even really began digging in on this. Um, then information just about, you know, one of the conflicts, some of the benefits, some of the drawbacks. And with that, I am going to consider this uh, uh, video complete and then this research complete as well.